Hey guys, I'm back again with another tablet review. So this time, I'm going to review the Senslot Pen Tablet Medium Bundle SE. Actually guys, excited na nga ako i-try to dahil first time ko lang makakagamit ng tablet na walang screen. I never heard this tablet before hanggat sa message nga nila ako at nagulat nga ako na this big boy is pretty expensive. So may kita mo pa lang talaga sa labas ng box is napaka premium yung look. They sent me this tablet for free in exchange of my honest review. So tara, let's see what's inside the box. So when I open the box, you will see the welcome letter from the Sense Labs. And here's the actual tablet itself. Hindi nga din ako makapaniwala sa design dahil sa sobrang premium nga nung look. Also, the color of this tablet is light gray, which is different from the other tablets. Mostly, black lang talaga ang may kita mo sa mga tablet ngayon. Pero ito, it gives me a clean vibes, which is I mostly like. Kasi favorite ko talaga yung color gray. <laughs> the next one is the black box. Dito may kita yung dalawang USB-C cable, a free sticker, and also my most favorite is the drawing gloves. Which is also color gray, kasi lahat naman ito is color gray. The third one is the drawing pen. Actually guys, this is my first time seeing a drawing pen that has its own case. So they really did a good job creating with a case because it's kinda useful for traveling. Also, it has a two types of drawing pens that has a 8192 pressure sensitivity. The pen itself is also battery free, so you don't have to charge it. Meron din siyang 10 nibs at andito na rin yung USB-A for connectivity and also the USB-C adapter if you're a Mac user. The fourth one is the shortcut keys. Also, it has its own screen and it looks like a cell phone for me. Yung design is napakaganda din at napaka premium yung look. Nung inopen ko siya, Shams bro, halos lahat yata ng shortcut keys andito na. Kasi pwede mo siyang palit-palitan base sa settings na gusto mo. At oo nga pala, sa loob din ng box, meron din siyang sariling bag. Nasa ilalim lang ito ng box. The bag is really nice and sobrang kapal nga din ng tela nito. At bro, to be honest, this is kinda useful for traveling. Kasi tingin ko ginawa talaga nila itong tablet na to para sa portability kung saan pwede mo siyang dalhin-dalhin kahit saan na walang hassle sa mga wire cables. So now let's connect this tablet to my laptop and let's test this out. But also before to use the tablet, you need to install the drivers to their website of SenseLab support. And when you finished installing the drivers, you can also change the shortcut keys if you like. But I will just gonna go for the settings default para hindi magulo. So now let's test the line stability. As I mentioned kanina, meron nga siyang 8192 pressure sensitivity which is lagi mong makikita sa high-end na tablet. And the rubber to its grip which is a nice one. So when I test the line stability, bro, I didn't see any lag at all. Also, I don't see any delays to the cursor. So grabe, hindi ako makapaniwala sa performance nito. Lalo nung nag-sketch ako, napaka-smooth nga ng surface ng ibabaw ng tablet. Na para bang nag-drawing ako by traditional in the paper. I think this is the best drawing pen tablet na nasubukan ko. Also, the button on the sides of the pen is have a three buttons. They put the under button on the sides, which is I usually use. And also the eraser to the top of the pen, which is minsan ko lang naman ginagamit. So now let's talk about the tablet itself. The size of this tablet is 12.5 inch, which is sobrang sakto lang ang laki nito comparing to my laptop. Alas magkasing laki lang talaga sila. Also, one of my favorite to the design of this tablet is the curve on the sides because it's ergonomic so that I can move around my hands smoothly. And sa tagal ko na nga nag-drawing dito, wala naman ako nakikita ang issue except sa hindi lang talaga ako sanay sa tablet na walang screen. Pero hindi naman yun naging problema dahil makakasanayin ko din naman sa pagtagal. So now guys, I will just gonna play it around and make some portrait as well. 
Ah, to nga pala, first time ko lang din gumamit ng Photoshop. So that I will take my time to finish the final piece. And I will tell you my thoughts to this tablet as well. So you need a little break up, oh oh oh. Say you need a little space, yeah, oh oh oh. Is it cause you can't be faithful, oh oh oh. Hope she's cool. Keeping me a tell when you're two I can't help but feel sympathetic, I do You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy Think you're bad, think you're bad, but I feel bad for you I'm not even mad, I'm not even mad I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I just feel bad for you I was pretty when I met you so now guys, it's already 3 hours in without stopping and this is I gotten so far. So my drawing experience on this tablet is very very smooth without glitching or lagging. Actually guys, yung shortcut keys is napaka useful talaga. Dahil pwede mo siyang palit palitan. Tingin ko nga mas okay to gamitin kaysa sa keyboard ko. Kasi halos lahat ng shortcut keys ay may kita mo na din dito. Pwede mo siyang palit palitan by clicking these buttons. Things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up Wake up I'm not ready Let me have another day Don't wake up Wake up Keep it steady Cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up So, ano ba yung kinaganda din ng tablet na to? Base sa experience ko, at ilang oras ko nag-drawing dito, may kita mo sa percentage ng battery is sobrang tagal niya malobat. Tingin ko nga pwede mo siyang gamitin by 3 days kung 7 hours kada araw mo siya gagamitin. Maganda rin pala ito sa posture kasi hindi mo na kailangan yuyo ko compare sa tablets na may screens. So, it's a good deal para sa akin dahil palaging sumasakit yung likod ko habang nag-drawing. So, what are my thoughts on this tablet? Unong una guys, this thing is expensive. Yung price nito ay naglalaro sa $380. So, in the Philippines, nasa 20,000 pesos. So, sobrang mahal. Pero, recommended ko ba siya? Actually, yes. Dahil lahat ng mga features na makikita mo dito is napaka-useful talaga. At solid din yung quality. Napakadali din yung gamitin at hindi siya hassle pag ikakabit sa mismo computer mo. So yeah, is it worth the money? So it is done guys. This is my first digital art on Photoshop. I'm not quite satisfied with the result because I'm still using the Photoshop for only 2 days. So still long way to go. But I'm happy with the process I made. So here's the reveal. Bye!